Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by again. Thanks for watching my videos. Special shout out to Scott Krause in Chicago for continuing to encourage me to do these kind of things. Uh, if you like it, please like my page, uh, like the video, share it on Facebook, share it on YouTube, wherever you can, I appreciate it. Uh, now, what I wanna talk about today is a little different than what I've normally been talking about, but I wanna go back <clears throat> about 20 some odd years, not quite, when my kids were very young. Um, and I will reference a friend of mine who hopefully will watch this. Her name was, we called her Owie. Her name was Awilda, is Awilda. And uh, I hope she watches this because she inspired this. Uh, she once told us, now I wasn't present for this, but she saw our children. I have two precious kids, Quentin and Kiana, who are about 19 months apart. And when they were young, uh, I mean, they're still adorable, but you know, they were more adorable. You know, it's just the kid thing, you know, get over it. But um, something happened, I think, Quentin hurt Kiana somehow, physically, I don't know how, it was just, you know, a kid thing. Nothing major, no ill intent. And Kiana started to cry. You know how it goes. And um, Awilda, I forget, no, she didn't say anything. We had trained, I remember, we had, we had been training our kids at that time to forgive. Even in the middle of pain, just, you know, forgive. And what happened, according to Awilda's story, is that Kiana cried, of course, much more dramatically than I just did, you know? <laughs> and Quentin said, I'm sorry. And Kiana said, I forgive you. Just hilarious. I mean, I could see them doing it. I didn't see this happen, but I could see them doing it. It was great. And the, the thing that uh, Awilda brought out from that story is this. Even while Kiana was still in pain from whatever happened, she forgave. She was taught to forgive out of the mouths of babes, right? Sometimes we get into situations where we are hurt and we drag that pain with us for years, decades sometimes. I still deal with some things myself. So what I'm encouraging you to do today is forgive, even in the middle of the pain, forgive. Because what's that old saying? Not forgiving somebody is like drinking poison, poison and expecting somebody else to die. It ain't gonna happen. So, be like Kiana and go, I forgive you! Because that's where healing is. That's where healing will come from. When you forgive, let it go. And no, I'm not talking about frozen, okay? Let it go, give it to God, and forgive. And uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, a lot of times that can be applied to if, if the unemployed part of my, you know, ranting page here that I've been dealing doing several days uh, is that if that's the part that hits home with you that you're unemployed and maybe there's somebody who caused that unemployment uh, it's very easy to um, continue to be angry at that person uh, it's easy to see them on you know Facebook on other social media and think man look at what they're doing and I can't believe what they did it's easy to think that kind of thing I'm there I've been there uh, so don't I'm just encouraging you from my heart don't just let it go let it go and I wasn't gonna go frozen forgive me but let it go give it to God and forgive even in the midst of the pain I hope that's encouraging to you I hope you're having a great day I hope things get better with the coronavirus I'm praying it does and uh, in the meantime I hope we find awesome and phenomenal ways to be able to uh, fulfill our callings on our lives and to uh, make a living as artists God bless you guys have a great day